Today, I bought a $15,000 Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. What's up, guys? We're about to head out and pick up an epic collection. You guys are going to be excited to see this one, so stay tuned. We just arrived here, about to go check out the collection. Hopefully it is just as nice as we expect. We'll see y'all in a minute. All right, guys, we just picked up this collection right here. It was a lot of money. It was a lot of money. We're gonna take it home. We're gonna check it out. There's some amazing cards in here that you're gonna wanna see, so stick around for the rest of the video. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic video, and I'm gonna be showing you this awesome collection that I bought, but first, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away the one singular Opelosa that we pulled out of 240 blister packs the other day. Yes, this is the card. I pulled one of them out of 240 packs. You have a chance to win it. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite card from this collection. Basically, every old school card is in here, so be prepared. All right, so we are going to hop into the hollows, probably only. So I have almost an entire collection of LOB through Ancient Sanctuary, commons and rares. We're not going to show all of those because we'd be here all day, but we are going to go through all the hollows. We didn't get every single hollow, but we're pretty close. So we're going to go pretty slowly through this stuff. So we have drop off. So these are going to be kind of in order with some misplaced. So there's the last turn. This is Legacy of Darkness, obviously. We're going to be checking out some of the nicer cards, such as Injection, Fairy Lily. Overall, pretty good condition for the most part. A couple of the cards, I mean, there's some stuff like this on there, you know, a little bit of scuffs. Occasionally, they'll be minty. Okay, yeah, the back, see, look at the back, looks really nice. There's a couple of cards that are in bad condition, but not many for the most part. So that's a secret rare. I'm going to make a little pile of all the nice stuff in the top right. Nice, like really nice. So like Yamada Dragon's nice, but it's not like really nice. So we're going to leave that in here. We've got Air Knight Parshath, very cool card. Look at that centering. That is classic Legacy of Darkness centering. This was a pretty cool collection buy because a guy hit me up on Twitter and he's like, hey man, I got a collection. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty pretty nice. He sent me a bunch of videos and pictures and stuff and he's like, yeah, I think they're in pretty good condition overall. And he's like, uh, do you want it? And I was like, sure. This was literally just a couple of days ago. And I was like, yeah, where? he's like, where are you from? And I was like, Tennessee. And he was from North Carolina. And I was like, hey, that's actually pretty close. Maybe we can meet in the middle. And he's like, actually, I wanted to come up to Nashville. And I was like, oh wait, that's really close to me. So we came up to Nashville and I actually was able to meet up with him and grab the collection like two or three days after we talked about it. So it was actually pretty crazy fast how quickly we got this deal done. I paid him $15,000, which I think is the most I've ever paid on a collection, which this is probably the nicest one I've ever bought, so it makes plenty of sense. Very nice cards in here. I mean, Legacy of Darkness we've seen a lot of, but it's still nice to see up every single time. And uh, this is just the beginning, guys. There's a lot more to come. Last Warrior from Another Planet. You love to see that. And Kaiku. So you can see the kind of the quality we're looking at. It's like near mint, sometimes minty looking stuff. Not everything is like that. A lot of it has some scratching on the back with like light play and stuff like that. But pretty good condition overall in most of the cards for the most part on the ones that I've checked. And I pulled all these out of binders. There was two different binders. And you guys know how binders is with the collections. Very difficult to show. And it's a lot harder for me to like make the video. So I pulled everything out ahead of time for you guys. Here's SDP. Complete SDP. Complete SDJ. Complete uh, Start at Yugi and Start at Kaiba. All unlimited. No, these are first edition. So these two are first edition. And then the Yugi and Kaiba are unlimited. So very cool stuff there. The Fiend Mega Cyber. Now we're getting into Pharaoh Servant. I think the one. Here's the one bad condition card. This was the worst condition by far. It was like heavy, heavily played. Yeah, you can see it's got damage on the edges. There was a funny one. What was the card? There was one card that had like this weird like printing error or something on it. I don't know what it was. I, I can, If I can remember which card it was, we'll pull it out and I'll show you guys. I feel like it might have been from Magician's Force. But unfortunately, no Dark Magician Girl. So if you're getting excited about that one, that is not coming. But uh, let's keep going through here. I think, yeah. So we're going through Magic Ruler now. So we got Mega Morph, which is pretty nice. We got Giant Trunade, the Forceful Sentry, Painful Choice. Okay, very nice. The MST was in bad condition too. I remember this. Uh, MST was not nice. Uh, I didn't check every card. Like when I went there and checked, I checked most of the really nice stuff. Like this is not as bad as the other one. It's like moderate play, but I didn't check every single card because we didn't want to be there all day. And I figured if there's a couple of bad cards, it's not a big deal. So it really wasn't a big deal that a couple of them are not nice. But like Snatch Still, I think was pretty minty actually. Invader of Darkness. Acts of Despair, Spell Winding Circle. So we're getting into Metal Raiders now. We got a couple of these. I pulled out all the nice Metal Raider stuff, so that's going to be in a different pile. Garnesia Elephantis, we recently graded a 10 of that, and a twin and a Thunder Dragon. These are slightly faded, but not too much. Here's a nice Time Wizard, which is pretty sick. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, this card's in pretty good condition, actually. The Metal Raiders were actually probably the best condition out of everything, which is always nice, because Metal Raiders is really cool. My favorite set, you guys know that, Karibo. 
tribute to the doom. We got Sangha, Kazujin, and Suijin. All right, next, uh, here's part of the BPT 2002 set. I did switch these up a little bit. I think Blue Eyes and Dark Magician are in a different pile, but here's the four. We did get all six of those, which is pretty cool. We will definitely be grading some of these, like the stuff that's like in nine condition, potentially, we will probably be grading. We have a Lord of D. I think this is actually wavy. I think, I think it was. Okay, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. I can't remember. We're gonna have to check out the uh, the blue eyes and stuff, but that guy, he looks a little faded. I don't think he's wavy, though. Okay, card destruction, soul exchange, uh, howl life barrier. So we got a couple of soul of the duelist ultis, no Horus level 8 or anything like that, but we got this one, and then we got the, of course, the Uniboo Penumbral <laughs> Soldier Lady. I can't even say her name. That's why we go with Uniboob usually. Uh, Mazera Deville. Wait, it might have been a secret rare. I think Mazera Deville was not in great condition either. Uh, emissary, but it's it's an ancient sanctuary card, so it's not a big deal. Uh, stone statue, end of Anubis. I wish I could remember what card had that craziness on it. If I see it, maybe it'll ring a bell. Black Tyrant. Here's Invasion of Chaos. There was one of the big cards from Invasion of Chaos. I moved that to a different pile, so you'll see that one later. Free the Brave Wanderer. We're kind of going through like the uh, the cards that I did not pull out. So you know they're the hollows, but they're not as nice. They're not like the crazy stuff. DD Scout Plane. We got a blast held by a tribute. I remember I tried to play this in a Duel Links tournament once. Judgment of of Anubis, Dark Master Zork, Terror King, the Skull Archbeam of Lightning. Like these are really nice cards, but they're not quite like up tier, like top tier, I should say, up tier. That's not a thing. Berserk Dragon, Mirage Dragon, Mirage Knight. That's different. Mirage Dragon is a card, right? Yeah, it's the one that doesn't let you activate traps in battle phase, right? Reflect Bounder, the Dark Flare Knight, the DD Warrior Lady, different Dimension Dragon. I like Dark Crisis, pretty cool. This Vampire Lord, I think, was actually pretty nice. I'm gonna set that over there. We're going to do double spell. There's some really big ones we're going to check out towards the end, though. I think it was skilled. Was it skilled white magician that had the all the junk on it? Wait, let me look. No, it wasn't skilled white. It does have some some scuffing on it, but it's not too bad. That's pack That's pack scuffing, so it came right out of the pack like that. I just want to remember what card that was. Maybe it was skilled dark. I could probably just go. I think just look at the back of them because it's really obvious once you see it. Spell Canceler, Paladin. We got the X, Y, and Z. You'd love to see those together. That's just a really nostalgic combo. Question, the visor shock, barrel behind the door, rope. Dark. Uh, Reaper on the Nightmare is actually a pretty good goat card. Miss Wait. No, it wasn't that one. Hell Palmer. Statue. Fuchsio Richie. That was one that I almost missed and put in the common pile, <laughs> which I didn't. Uh, Don Zalug, uh, Great Dizard. And Sasuke Samurai. All right. I, I would not have remembered this was a Grarl, but check this out, guys. This is very weird. So I was like, okay, let's check out this Grarl. Let's check out the back. And boom. What in the world is that? <laughs> It looks like it got laminated on part of it. It looks crazy. It's like a it's like a birthmark on this card. Very strange, but like it's not it's not something that comes off. It's just kind of there. Very strange. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't know. It's kind of like when you put in one of these sleeves and then it kind of like suctions in on it, but it like stuck there. It's very weird. I don't know what's going on with that, but I thought I'd show you guys because I've never seen that before. And here are the cards that I actually checked out, or at least some of the cards. Let's start with this while i was there so we got a uh, blackluster soldier was the big card that was in invasion of chaos there was no chaos and bird dragon or democ but there was a bls this card is actually pretty nice i'm gonna check it out show you guys uh the front's pretty good centering is definitely not good so i don't think it has a chance at the 10 but pretty nice card there back's pretty good let me a little bit of scuffing maybe a little scratch on there so it's not perfect we're looking at probably an eight on that one a lot of this stuff is in this similar conditions, like eight condition, so not too crazy, but still really nice card. I think Breaker was actually uh, bent, actually, which was a little bit upsetting, because not upsetting. I mean, it wasn't like mad, but I was like, dang, that sucks. Where was it? It was at the top, I think. There it is. Yeah, a little crease up there, if you guys see that. Little little mini crease. It's not too bad, but a crease is a crease. I mean, that hit, makes it mod play, like, immediately, unfortunately. So, that was that was there, unfortunately. We got the Lava Golem. We got Ring of Destruction. I mean, a lot of crazy stuff. Yada, Dark Necro Fear First Edition, The Masked Beast, Gemini Elf, Beautiful, The Goblin Attack Force. A lot of people like that one. Beast of Tower, Imperial Order. That was an interesting trick. PSV was a little bit weird. Like, some of the cards were nice. Some of the cards were not that nice. Legendary Fisherman. Like, Buster Blader, I remember, was not that great. So the front, I was like, okay, this card's pretty nice. And then the back was like, meow. So it had some major scuffing. This is probably pack scuffing, to be honest. But it's bad pack scuffing. Like, it's pretty bad. Uh, and then we got uh, a Genzo, which was pretty good. I think the Genzo was pretty nice, actually. So we can check this one out. Pretty clean. A little bit of a nick up there, if you guys see that. So a little bit off there. And then the back was very clean. So if that nick wasn't there, this might be like a 9. But the centering is pretty bad. 
So maybe even an eight from just centering. They, they do do that sometimes. Do do. Uh, <laughs> Dark Magician. Well, that's why Dragon. There's are those two we couldn't find. Serpent Knight, Dragon, Toon Mermaid, Relinquished, and the Toon Dragon. So those are all of those. There's a few more epic ones coming up, though. We haven't hit the big set, Legend of Blue Eyes. So then we have uh, Thousand Dragon. I think Thousand Dragon was pretty nice from my memory. I was also looking at this in hotel lighting, like in a lobby where it was only half open. Like there, there didn't have tables or anything. So the lighting was not that great. I was doing my best to get any sort of light on it but this card looks really nice actually how's the centering uh eyeball on it it's i think within the range honestly maybe maybe a shot at a 10 we're gonna have to look a little more closely there will be psa graded videos for this so don't worry we also had a mirror forest very nice i'm gonna keep these off so we just so we can surprise you guys with the big stuff even though you know what's in the sets but still really cool to see them one at a time solemn judgment very cool we got the barrel dragon yeah this has these weird dots at the top you guys see these dots? Looks like you could just wipe them off, but they kind of just hang out right there. So you got to be really careful with your thumbnail, maybe. Oh, it worked. Yeah, very careful with the thumbnail. Yeah, sometimes this strategy works, but you don't really don't want to put much pressure on it. So I might be able to get that one off later without, see, like, you got to be really, really soft with it. And there you go. That's how you do it, guys. A professional at work. Yeah, that's Ruxin34 for you. Just kidding. But that actually worked out really well. So when you do that, you really don't want to press down at all. You just kind of want to go like that. Because if you start pressing, you're going to get scratches on it. And you really don't want to do that, obviously, if you're going to grade it. Or if you just you know, want it to be nice. Change of heart. Beautiful card. I can never find a minty condition like PSA 10 of that. B-Skull. We've had such good luck with B-Skull. And I remember this one being pretty nice, actually. So hopefully we can continue the B-Skull luck. The price has come down on the PSA 10 on this guy, though. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. This is an amazing card. I think it'll be okay in the long run. B-Skull Dragon, PSA 10, hopefully. That's what we're hoping. Oh, the Metal Raiders was where most of my hope came from for 10s. Most of the other stuff, not a lot of 10s. So, we, we want a couple of 10s out of here. It'd be great. It's awesome to find a raw collection that even has some great ability. So, that's pretty cool. The guy actually said he was a... Uh, he actually did some sports card grading, which was pretty cool. It was nice to talk to him about that. Since you guys know, if you don't know, I am a pretty big sports guy myself. I don't talk about it a lot, except on live streams, we do talk about it, actually. So, a little bit of scuffing there. This Great Guardian's pretty nice overall. Okay, so this is a pretty epic pile. Of course, we have the Summon Skull. Yeah, we're not going to check him out because, you know, we've got a lot to go. Here we go. Love like the Forbidden One. Lower name. It is wavy, so pretty normal. Not too crazy on that, but it is still really cool to see. If you guys check out that wavy foiling, very beautiful. You'd love to see that first edition the back so the back was i don't really remember you know there's a little bit going on with it it's not completely perfect a little bit of a print line down the middle a little bit of a dot right there we might be able to get that off a little bit of a scratch right there so that's definitely or like a deep scratch i should say so probably not too crazy on the you know grade maybe like an eight on that one or something like that if we're lucky this one was one of the few that was unlimited so we have an unlimited right leg so nothing really to look at there it's just an unlimited right leg Guy the Dragon Champion, beautiful card. I remember this being in pretty nice shape. I think the centering was pretty off. A little bit of a white uh, corner right there, if you guys see that. The edge is pretty thick on that side, so definitely some centering issues. Really nice cards, though, like LOB. You don't find a lot of these these days. A little bit of light scratching in the middle, so I'm guessing on this guy, like 8, 7 potential, maybe. Who knows? That, that kind of stuff, it's like borderline. Do I send it in? I don't know. I mean, you guys can let me know if you want to see it sent in or not, but at 100 bucks, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, we, we could always try CGC because I do have a CGC return. If, I, if I'm happy with that, maybe we could try that because they're a little bit cheaper right now. Or wait for the PSA bulk rate and then uh, do that. So this one does have the foil error line, which I think PSA sometimes grades harshly. So we should probably not grade this one, to be honest. But centering is good from side to side. Top to bottom, a little bit off. Pretty good. Yeah, just pretty nice. I mean, there's some scratching, as you guys can see. So all the LOBs, they're, they're not really perfect but they are pretty nice and lob being lob it's like do we grade him do we not swords of revealing light beautiful curse of dragon this one's wavy as well i think so there's some glossy some wavy it just depends yeah so that's a wavy copy if you guys don't know what wavy means it's like the card stock looks wavy when you put it in the light if you guys can see that um like when you go across right there just check keep your eye right there see how it's kind of waving yeah and the glossy it's like very shiny so i'll show you here's a glossy a red eyes black dragon glossy right here is you see how like dot there's all these dots and it's kind of shining out at you instead of waving that's the difference so that's the glossy print and uh yeah th it's not a huge difference i mean the, people used to think wavy is first and they're like now glossy is first so now it's just kind of like whatever but they're, they're just two different print runs that they had trap hole very cool polymerization very beautiful off-centered by a lot <laughs> for sure 
Mystical Elf. Really, really cool first edition. And by the way, he didn't have all the Exodia pieces. He only had two. He didn't have the head or the two arms. Uh, Dark Hole. This is a wavy copy. It looks really cool. Here's, I like really like wavy red Geki. I think it looks really cool. So here we go. Rhyme Style actually gave me a PSA 7 one of these, and it was wavy, and I just cracked it out because I really liked it, and it was a 7, so not a big deal, but uh, very, very nice. I mean, that has got to be one of the coolest looking artworks in Yu-Gi-Oh! Just a straight-up lightning bolt. Nothing too complicated. This has always had nostalgia for me because back in the day, I was hunting these down because I wanted to just lightning bolt everybody. It was pretty awesome. I did find two of them. If you saw my original childhood deck video, go check it out if you haven't seen it. Very old at this point. Flame Swordsman. Very nice. That's a big card, actually. Celtic Guardian. This one is actually kind of faded, which is pretty cool. Faded Celtic Guardian. You love to see that one. Very nice. The Celtic Guardian. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Very cool. We're getting close to the very beginning, to the big stuff. Trihorn Dragon. Centering is always off on this guy. Glossy, the centering, and it is, man, it is super rough. It is man. I don't think that's the way you say that, but very nice. A little bit of scuffing right there. Pretty clean, though, other than that scuff. Here's another one that was unlimited, but the cool part about this one is it's an unlimited wavy, which is pretty rare to see. So, very cool. It's like slight wavy. Yeah, so wavy is weird because like sometimes they're really wavy and sometimes they're not as wavy. So this is kind of like in the middle there. I don't know. There, I feel like there's probably a term for this, but I, I just don't keep up with the wavy glossy stuff as much anymore because it doesn't really matter that much. But this card looks amazing. Love to see it. Then we have a blue eyes. This is the SDK blue eyes. It's a little bit faded. I think somebody was asking me about one of these the other day. So here's one that I have. Uh, a little bit off-centered. Pretty clean, to be honest. Yeah, not bad overall. Couple cards left in this collection. Very nice. We got the Dark Magician. This one is not faded like the other one, but very cool. Or like the Blue Eyes, but very, very nice. And then finally, we have the Blue Eyes White Dragon First Edition. A little bit of a thing right there. We're going to see what we can do about that. Um, and by that, I, I don't mean I'm like do anything crazy. I'm just trying to knock it off. But basically, there's that a little spot up there. Pretty normal for these Blue Eyes. I've seen that a lot. Off-centered a little bit. It's a little bit faded. I don't know how this thing's going to grade. We're definitely going to send it in because it's blue eyes. You got to try it out. And uh, our previous two blue eyes grades got 1.5 and 4. So hopefully we can beat those grades. Uh, I think it should. It's definitely a lot better than those. And it is a wavy copy, which is pretty sick. So blue eyes, white dragon. We have not seen one of these on the channel. First edition LOB in a very long time. So very cool to get this. An awesome collection pick up. I'm pretty excited about it. Let me give you guys a quick run through of, not run through, but an overview. Here's some of the commons that we picked up, commons and rares. All this stuff was in the collection. I'm going to be selling these full common and rare sets. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to be putting them on Instagram if they're not already sold already by the time I post this. Uh, so if you're interested in like a full like AST first edition common and rare set, stuff like that. Not all the cards are completely near mint. Most of them are. Some of them are not. But uh, if you're interested in that, check out my Instagram at Ruxin34. Follow me at on Twitter as well for other stuff like giveaways, etc. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Daxter, Ian Musa Jr., Barding, Ananda Chai Show, JT Cho, David FJ, and Josh Evans. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.